one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the exterior review of this beautiful 1992 Buick Century. It's a one owner car, one or two, you gotta check the eBay ad. I don't, I gotta check my paperwork to where you can check the eBay ad. But it's got 67,000 original miles on it. Um, I do a lot of these one and two owner vehicles, sometimes three. And just if they're clean and nice, you gotta see the interior on this thing. There'll be another video up um, next that does the interior and all that. Um, absolutely beautiful car. It's in great shape. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick walk around here. And then I'll show you any up close damage and dents and dings or anything like that, which there ain't much to talk about. Like I say, it's a clean car. If you're interested, you can call me 406 546 8748. Name's Nathan. Check out like 60, 80 pictures of it and the full video on oneownercarguy.com. Um, for some reason, there we go. My camera had went out. So that's that. I'm going to show you underneath it first, like I always do. Even got the front plate bracket still. Those usually get knocked off. Even got the vinyl lip and everything underneath it. Clean as can be. Nice, clean car. Back in the van, the pan. Now oh, it's just this asphalt is burning my hand, but the pan is totally clean. Everything on it. There's some. It's not chippage. It's just the old chrome getting bad or fake chrome on both sides of the grill. There, hardly would notice it. It's in great shape. It looks great. If you get up close on the hood, these years of paint would get light checking in it, and it's all over in the hood. I'm gonna try and get up close show you from a couple different angles but it's very hard to see unless you get right up on it there's some kind of smudge right here i did not buff this car at all but it seems to me like that'll come off um the paint's in great shape besides the checking i'm telling you about um i know there's a ding or two and there's this area right here man i was gonna take a <laughs> i was gonna take a buffing pad to that and i didn't I might should, it might take it right off. Uh, same thing right here. And little marks in the vinyl striping. Man, it kind of bugs me that I didn't take a muffin wheel to that now. But too late for that. So I don't know if that'll come out. You know, this one has, it could have actual little, it's not really dinged. I don't know what that is. It's dinged a little. That is definitely dinged a little. This one isn't really dinged the same way, but it's, it's not dinged. No, it's just rubbed on there. Weird. I'll try and rub that off. You'll see it in the night video. Um, tops and everything is in great shape. All the seals around the windows and everything, great shape. The car's tight. It's not all rusty. A little rub mark right here. I don't know what it's from. And the lenses and everything are in great shape. A little bit of discoloration in the bumper right there. Clean, baby. Look how clean the bracket around here is. And I didn't treat this with any bumper treatment, okay? That's how clean it is. California car, it's got my Montana plate on it. Um, I'm actually thinking about taking this one to Montana for the office. It's a great running 67,000 mile car. Okay, so going down this side, There ain't a whole lot to talk about, Matt. Oh, there's a ding right here. Right here. Looks like there might be one right there. There is one right there. Tiny one there. I think that's it. But let's just say on this car somewhere, there has to be one I missed. Yeah, I think I got them all there. It's straight. The car's straight. And it's shiny. It just blings back at you. Bling! Right back at you. Um, that's the exterior. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the car. Um, look at the tread on these tires, by the way. <laughs> Still got center titty tread. Little titties all over the side. And I don't know how old they are. Um, I know there's a maker's mark on them somewhere, but I haven't looked. I think, honestly, any tires, I do. They're brand new. However, I don't think it was driven much. Look at how this, this hubcap shine back at you, man. Um, I, I think they're just out around from sitting around. There's flat spots in them or something. 
It's either that or an alignment. That's the only problem. I drove this thing from LA. San Diego, look at the wheels. Just absolutely gorgeous. Touring tire. I just don't. I don't know. It's the tires or the alignment. One of it gives it a little wobble wobble. And whenever it comes to something like that, when I'm selling a car, the way I sell a car is you're not here to pay me to change tires. That's not what I'm good at. And if I do it, you don't get a warranty. If you do it, you get the lifetime warranty from Walmart and everything. It's bam! It's the way to do it. So I'm not going to add the cost of me doing it. I disclose any known issues. And that's the only thing I can tell you that I know of. Look at this. Look at all the original plastic for the... Which is very rare to have all this stuff intact. Even the little pull things. Okay, I'm going to take you on a test drive. I'm going to do my best not to show you the interior. Because you got to wait for the interior. Right now. Oh, man. Oh, I hate when I put my keys in my pocket. And people, I don't know why, but maybe just because they wonder. It's, maybe I don't need to know why. Oh man, it's hot today. I'm sorry. 96. Summer is basically here. But people like to see the keys, so. Square ignition, round doors, like any Chevy, Cadillac, Buick, or any of that stuff. Fires right up, runs good, doors auto lock, and all that good stuff. It's my place over there with the Valvoline trailers. Check out my website, oneownercarguy.com. You know, once I'm doing things on the car, I try not to roll the windows down because then it messes up my picture sometimes. But I'm here to tell you today, I ain't got a choice, it's hot. Um, and okay. Thirty three hundred three point three liter motor. Great motors. And it, it that wasn't me, that was him. And it rides and drives good enough. There's just this once you get up around fifty or so exactly, there's a little bit of a shimmy sometimes. And I can feel it right about there, about fifty. Um, and it's not the end of the world, but it is more of a shimmy in your chamois than you want to be having. And honestly, I can't tell you if it's tires or alignment. Um, like I told you when I was outside, I'm leaning towards tires. The car's powerful. It's got plenty of power. Great driving little car. And like I say, I'll get you an exterior video on this later today and get it in the shade to where you can kind of see how it really is looking at all. Um, yeah. Drives, shifts, stops, great. Just ride between 45 to 55 and start that little bit of shimmy. Great first car, college kid. Great everyday grocery gritter, getter type car. This car outlasts a lot of us, I'll put it that way. With these kind of miles, 67,770, 757. for sale, check out my website, oneownercarguy.com, and there just ain't nothing to say bad about this test drive except for what I've said, which is all there is to say. That's a lot of saying. Okay. You go, wow, you go, this thing just corners. Corners, I tell you. Okay, so that's that. All kinds of cars for sale here. Every kind of car you can imagine. And that's that. The um, I should roll the windows up. Give you an outro here. Say goodbye and all that good stuff. One owner car guy. One owner car guy. Dot com.
great car. If you're looking for a little Buick like this, this is the Buick for you. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And I'm here today to do the interior review of this beautiful 1992 Buick Century with only 67,000 miles. So, I do all kinds of one and two owner cars. And this one is just one of the nicest, cleanest. If you're looking for a Buick Century or a Buick Old Pontiac Chevy or anything in this type of a body, stop it and get a hold of me because this car is clean. Wait till you see the interior. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. You can see all sorts of things on there. I've got all kinds of, at least 60, 70 pictures of this car on there as well. I'm going to show you the inside and all that. You can call me if you're interested. 406 546 8748. Automotive Buyers Club. Cool stuff. You can check it out on Facebook. And this is one of those cars, man. You just don't see this every day. Now, I was walking around it last time to the exterior, and I don't know how I missed that one of the teeth is busted out of the grill. So, my buddy's like, oh man, we could just like get a piece from the junkyard and like glue it in there. He's right. Grills are pretty cheap. And there's this little crack in the paint right there. And besides that, I showed you everything in the exterior video. Um, somewhere, I, oh, keys are in my pocket. Maybe it's the other one. There we go. I'm trying to find my keys. So here we go. Exterior review is done. You've seen that, hopefully. If not, check it out on my channel. Let's look at the inside. These seats are absolutely beautiful. I'm going to try to make sure, there we go, that I get as bright as I can. Door panels, great shape. Dash, great shape. Not all cracked up or nothing. It is also cracked up to be. There is no floor mats in it because they just didn't look good. And I, they're in the trunk. They're just, they're nice. You'll see what I mean. The seats are, I hate to say flawless. They're just, I, there's no rips, tears. It's just a, I'm almost saying perfect. I just don't want to say that because with a used car, nothing in life is perfect. Like this. These floor mats kind of suck, but they're here and they'll keep dirt off the floor. So I left them. It's kind of used their use. The headliner's in great shape. Missing the little dome light cover. Doors, I can close it too hard almost every time because it's just clean. Look across there. And I showed you there's a little something scuff in the paint. A little tiny, tiny, hardly see it, but there's a little something right there. That stays open at all. There's the floor mats. And they're a nice set of vinyl or plastic or whatever mats. They just don't look awesome. Trunk is just fantabulous. Spare's never even been out of here. Still got titty, titties on the tread and everything. It's in great shape. It's never been used. Those are yours. Just because they should go with the car. I mean, I would use them. Whoa, hang on now. Let me get this out, number one. And number two, yeah, the light works up in here. So all that kind of stuff is in working order. Close the trunk too hard. Simply because this thing is just tight. She's toy. It really is. <laughs> you can hear them doors make a chunk. So nice and smooth. It's not all banged up. It's not all rusted out. This car is clean. And with this kind of miles, it's one of them cars that might last longer than you. That's all there is to say about it. And that don't even depend on who you are. Even a kid. He's going to last some time. Guess it depends on how much you drive, won't it? Got the owner's manuals, all that. I'm not trying to cover up nothing on the floor. It's in great shape. Oh. Never even been smoked in, man. Look at that. It's brand new. Oops. That's in there somewhere. I'm going to take it out anyways. Plug something into to where I can use my Android charger. Look at that hood, it's beautiful. This, I was telling him, man, this thing pops. Uh, Gunner works here now, and we detailed this thing today and yesterday. Okay, light works. The one thing bad is that strut. Look how clean this is, man. I'm here to tell you, this is one clean car.
Okay. That's got a little couple. It's got wear on it. Let's take care. Okay, so that's the options and such as you see them here. Let's look at the inside. Look at the windows. Go for a test drive. BFG tires. Look at them seats. Yeah, it's, it's basically everything on this car where it's nice. Okay. Oh, square key, round key, typical GM. Radio works and such. Everything blows. It doesn't blow ice cool. It's blowing cool, but not as cool as you'd want it to. Probably needs a can or two. Uh, windows are all good. Like I say, I'm missing the dome light. I was in here. Somebody literally stole it from the auction, I believe. It's actually nice and cool out now. When I did the exterior, it wasn't nice and cool. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Very familiar sound to me with these old 31, 33, 38, because even a 3500. But it is just a very nice car. Okay. Just some nice driving. Ooh, nice truck. Totally different kind of truck. It's fun to come out tonight and do something for a couple of miles. But this is the kind of car that you can just save a truck payment on when we're driving a truck like that. Drive this when you go out at night and stuff. This is a, a grocery getting son of a gun. And I'm gonna put my foot to it like that and tell you that it ain't no whim. It's got some power. Now, I also mentioned we're around 45 or 50. You start getting a little bit of a. I'm 90% in my mind. Well, I know it's tires are alignment. And think about this. Think about this. If I go in to try and figure out if it's tires or alignment, then I gotta go to the alignment shop. Oh, not alignment, it's tires, and I gotta go to the tire shop. Or I could go to a place that does both and charges more. Um, either way, put some boots to it for a second. It's not what is in your town. It's not where you get your warranty. Now it's in my name. Now. I've bought tires for it. I did an alignment. And the work's gonna get done anyways. And it's all it needs. This car just sit here and actually I drove it from LA, it drives just fine. But you know that you could have an issue. And so I would say go in and get them replaced or have them figure out which it is. Shift, downshift, there's a good brake for you. Steering, it's just nice as it gets, man. So, point about them, their things was I'm not gonna do it all, get on it there and peel out. I'm not gonna do it all and charge you to go around and figure out what's wrong with this. It's an easy deal, and you'll get a warranty on it if you do it. So that's how I look at these things. Other than that, here we are, right back at my lot. Anything you need, one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. Should be 60 or more pictures. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And these tires, I just think they've set for a long time. And the car really hasn't been driven. And it's got some flat spots now. So, that's the situation I think we're dealing with. I'm going to drive it all the way up 
here. Get out of the way. I got the DeVille coming up. I got a Lexus over here. I got older stuff too. This Cadillac DeVille's coming up. Check out that center on my site if you want something really cool. The 69. <whistles> the core. Oh man. There's just so many cool cars here. I can't get enough of this. So I'm going to roll things up. Get unbuckled. Say goodnight. Goodbye. I'm here to tell you. Cars are running. And they're not exact. Ooh, the lights come on and everything. It's just nice as can be. Sometimes the um, automatic locks don't unlock when you close it because they do lock when you start it so that's the deal that's the car that's the whole thing anything else you're interested in Twenty sweet by the way so is the sl <laughs> uh, one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. this is your 92 buick with 67,000 original miles look at down the side of this thing this time of night just absolutely beautiful shines back at you great car Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, check out my website, oneownercarguide.com. Subscribe. We'll talk to you.